find the hole again. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another action figure toy review on the Hasbro's Target exclusive Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Iron Man and Mega Man X. If you're trying to pick these up, you can get them at Target. They're all over the place at Target stores right now. Anyway, we're getting a reissued Iron Man figure right over here. You can see a nice image of Iron Man on the side and then on the back you can see some product shots. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, pause it now. We have X on this side right there and then there's not much more at the bottom. So let's Let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the figures out of the packaging. And this is actually a fairly decent set. And I say decent with all honesty over here. Uh, the X figure over here I actually kind of like and is the centerpiece of this two pack. We have definitely seen this Iron Man figure before. So let's get a closer look at that very quickly and then we'll get a closer look at X. So here's the Iron Man next to some images I found of Iron Man from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and it looks like uh, they're missing some gold on this figure. You know, they could have added some gold and this is a Mark III Iron Man repaint from the Iron Man 2 3 3 quarter inch movie toy line. And yeah, and I'm not too stoked about this. It looks all right, you know. It's it's the Mark III again, you know, so it's the same thing. You can see the paint has actually faded on this older one. I like the arc reactor more on this older one, but I do like the gold more on this newer one over here. But yeah, they're both okay, you know, not bad. Got a little bit of weird squiggly going on in the mask right there. That kind of bothers me a little bit. I wish they had used a new one. That would have been cool, but I guess, you know, I just keep feeling like I'm sticking up for Hasbro for taking a shortcut over here when... I kind of wish they didn't so but I understand why they did it but yeah uh, the paint looks fairly clean throughout you know I, I'm not really too excited about this Iron Man figure he doesn't come with any blast accessories or anything like that you know we've seen this before still have the peg hole in the back which I actually used against him fighting the Mega Man figure to quickly go through the articulation uh, you can't move his head up it's just on this little ball joint right there so you can half it making him look up just that much he looked down just a little bit you get side to side movement but his head's always tilting downward and then you also get just a little bit a head wobblage. Uh, he does have a little bit of a hinge right over here on these shoulder pads. They will pop off though, but you can get his, yep, see, it popped off. But without it popping off, you can get the arm moving outward that much, and you can move full 360 over here. It's attached to the actual shoulder right there. Uh, you do get a swivel at the elbow. It bends in at 90 degrees. You get a swivel, no hinge at the wrist. You get a, di oh, there goes another shoulder pad. Uh, you get a diaphragm joint, and he moves forward a little bit and back some. You get some diaphragm pivot. Uh, he has the wide jointed uh, ball joints at the hip so you got to find the positioning to get those legs moving all the way outward so he can move his legs outward quite a bit and then you got to rotate that ball joint around move it forward and then move that upper thigh joint right there so you can kick forward that much and kick back uh, about that much right there yeah you get the double jointed knees which are really good still and then his ankles do move down and uh, they don't really move up you could rotate them side to side and zero ankle pivot so here's looking at the effects part that we get with X and it looks really good uh, I like this nice sculpt and everything you know, I think it's a pretty nice color too. I like how it fades right over here. So we have the brighter color towards the middle or towards, you know, the nozzle of his barrel right here. So you can plug it in right there and you can see it gets a little bit more dark with the green at the end. So I'm liking that. I think it looks pretty nice. I dig it. And you could rotate over here if you'd like to. And here's the figure next to some images I found of X from Marvel Infinite Online. So that looks pretty good, right? I think they got it for the most part. It looks pretty solid. There's this weird thing going on with his eyes though that throws me off. You can see that there's this little extra droop underneath there in the deco it just looks a little strange to me I don't know what that is I'm not 100% sure if that's supposed to be there but I gotta say for the most part I do like this piece uh, I think this is actually a pretty good Mega Man X figure I uh, get some nice glossy or metallic red right over there I like the flesh tone for the most part I do like the paint apps over here I love how this blue plastic has this little bit of a shimmer in there so we get that little bit of a gleam going on in the plastic it's slight marbleization we have the light baby blue going on throughout right over here. Looks pretty good on the back of the figure as well. I do feel like his arms are a little bit on the short side. I don't know. I just want his arms to be just a tad bit longer. So I don't know if that's me, you know, wanting something that's inaccurate, but I, I don't know. I just feel like his arms could be just a little bit longer. But then looking at the legs right over here, I love this. And again, you could see that nice glittery right there in the plastic. Looking pretty metallic. I dig that. 
yeah, looks pretty nice. There's an X butt, and then you can see he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet and the copyright information right there. And we get some pretty good articulation on this X figure, so you can't move his head up too much. That, that's a little unfortunate. He'll just kind of look forward that much. Uh, he will look down just a tad. You get side to side movement over here and some head wobblage, so there is some decent pivot right there. Uh, his shoulders do move outward that far, which is pretty good, and you can move him downward, and you can do a full 360 right here at the shoulder. This shoulder pad is attached to that ball joint and I have not had it pop off on me at all so I really like how that worked out and you can move these shoulder pads down and up uh, you get a single jointed elbow that does not bend in even close to 90 degrees that's unfortunate uh, I wish you could bend in more than that uh, you also get rotation at the elbow and you can rotate right over here at the forearm as well and we don't get any wrist rotation but that's okay because we get that swivel right here at the forearm and then you get a swivel over here on this side too so same deal uh, you get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side and he can crunch forward quite a bit and back a lot and he does have some diaphragm pivot and of course you get the swivel over there and his leg popped off yeah he you know these big hefty legs are just hanging on by ball joints so uh, he can move his legs outward quite a bit but you can see that this has gotten pretty loose on me but nah, eh, it'll still stay and he can kick forward very far and back a lot you get a swivel at the knee then he bends a little bit more than he does at the elbows so that's pretty cool and then we get rotation at the knee then the ankles do move down uh, they won't really move up and you can't turn them side to side but there is a little bit of pivot right there it's it's more of a wobble, but it is some slight pivot. Now to measure out the X and Iron Man figures, you can see X is standing right at four inches tall, and Iron Man is standing just a little under four and a half inches tall. And you can see these two pack figures over here compared to the Iron Man 2 movie toy line of the Mark III Iron Man. And yeah, you can see how these two are the same figure, just painted differently. Oh, that smudge is really bothering me. And then comparing this X figure to my other two X figures in my collection, we have the True Force Collectibles X right here. And then we have the D Arts X, big thanks to Sean Long. And you can see while obviously not as cool as either of these two, I mean, both of them are much more expensive and much larger. I actually think he holds his own compared to these two. Normally I would compare these two figures next to a three three quarter inch little big time letdown Spider-Man, but for now here they are next to the big time letdown Spider-Man. If you don't know why there's a big time letdown Spider-Man and no big time no letdown Spider-Man, well shame on you for not watching all of my videos. So I think this is a pretty decent two-pack set, and I really mean decent. It's not great. It's definitely not going to win anybody over to the three three quarter inch collecting side. It really isn't, but it's still fun to take pictures of these two fighting each other and everything. I did take a lot of pictures. Uh, the Mega Man, or the X figure over here, is really the winner of the two of them, of course. We've seen this Iron Man figure before and it's not even the best 3 3 quarter inch Iron Man figure that's out there. So that's the main reason why I'm disappointed in this two-pack set. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figures. Also, if you want to see more Shardmas Prime videos, hit that subscribe button for more videos coming your way. And make sure you hit that notification bell to ensure that my videos show up in your feed. I gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here for supporting this YouTube channel. I will have a Patreon exclusive video up to today on the Transformers Armada Megatron. So stay tuned for that, patrons. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at MarvelousNews.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. Hey, I'm sure Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.